I always knew that I was male, but like I didn't really fit into that role. I'm just like really going to miss being so close to females. I'm not gonna be able to be as close to either my friends that are girls or my girlfriends. I'm gonna be able to remember what it's like to have a female body and emotions, but I'm it's gonna just be completely different. Uh, she called a, a therapist. She had a call for me because I have like this really bad phone anxiety. This is my back. Here we go. Now, you know, instead of being made fun of for like being manly, I get made fun of for being girly. Like a teenager, you're really angry. I was, I was You used to be sensitive, now you're angry. <laughs> Since my hormones have been out of whack, I've been really grumpy and I haven't been eating regularly. I don't know how to live my life anymore. <laughs> now that I don't have to try to be anything, I don't know what to be. I've been kind of going crazy for a while. I broke up with my girlfriend, but I'm fucked up because that's how I am now. I really don't worry about anything except for my top surgery, which I shouldn't be buying for much longer, and I feel like I'll be buying it for the next 10 years. My one year on testosterone. <coughs> and that's how I feel about that. I cried myself to sleep. Testosterone sucks, but estrogen sucks more. I have fucking crazy acne, and I can't stop picking at it. This freaking thing off. Let's see, like, I was off testosterone for like five months. Sometimes, People would mistake me for a female and like I got a random dude and he thought I was a girl He kept saying or referring to me as female told me I was beautiful I'm not on T currently like I've been off of it for like eight months, but that's not like because I wanted to be I just was broke <laughs> I live a lot and I live with a lot of different people. I sleep on the couch because you know, I make like two to three hundred dollars a month. I got the The devil incision, you know it was 5,600. I have a very flat chest, like there's no really muscle. There are slightly different sizes. There are things that change about you that is, a, is because of just the testosterone. But it's not like what people make it out to be. Like, I have been basically conditioned to be more masculine and I have become more masculine. Not because I've tried, just because people have expected me to and they have come, like they uh, compliment me on it. Since you're like, you're just like feeling good about yourself just because A, you're, you're transitioning. Like you just think that people are like, like reacting to you being happy, not you being a man. There are some people who like want me to be super masculine and then there's others that don't like it. And so, and I just never wanted to be very masculine. So the fact that I'm masculinizing even though I don't want to, has a lot to say about like society and gender rules. You are seen as what you people expect you to be. Well, the thing that people don't seem to understand is that everyone has gender dysphoria. It doesn't matter if you're trans. The only thing that makes it seem worse is that people don't like read you as your gender. To say that like gender dysphoria is only for trans people is ridiculous. Everybody has gender dysphoria and the thing is is that transitioning does not fix it. I could not see myself as living in the future as male and that's why I decided to transition not because I didn't like the female gender role because I don't like the male gender role either. I wish my body was different and maybe I wish that I was more butch but it just, just doesn't make me a better person, so I'm not going to try to do that. It does not better me at all. My dysphoria or troubles I have with transition is not the actual transition, but it's this social stigma and like hostility that comes with it. I wanted to be stealth, man. I don't want anybody to know. And I think that it's not because like it's shameful or unnatural, like being trans, that is. But it's because I like saw how disrespectfully 
and violently trans people were treated, you know? And not just by ignorant or malicious people, but also people who were generally considered nice, intelligent people. Like, you could be the nicest motherfucker, but you could still think that trans people are, like, horrible. I do not believe I was born in the wrong body. 